For those of you who buy a lot of milk, ice cream, butter, yogurt, all that good stuff you like to eat. Oh gosh, cream for your coffee, your lattes from Starbucks. Well, these are Holstein cows. They don't have much butter fat, but boy, they're the big producers. And this is the last farm I grew up on. My house is just around the corner. And um, I just want to make a little stop here. I'm researching my, my, um, my diet. I, you've heard me say before, or maybe you haven't. I'm, I'm a paleo eater, but I got to crank back on the meat. The dietitians at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance love that place. Recommend it to everybody. Um, They've, uh, the one gal that's helped me, we got to get meat out of my diet. There's natural estrogen in it. Um, there's also estrogen, of course, in dairy products. There's estrogen in food. That's a plant source, garbanzo beans. Soy, soy is high in estrogen. And then, of course, you know, kind of like the sadness of them all, and that's just my thoughts, is the estrogen that, that's man-made. That's in a lot of stuff, folks. And um, because they're shutting my system down of estrogen because my cancer Boy, my tumors, which have been cut out, they love, they love estrogen. It's like, you know, if you've ever seen anybody throw gasoline on a fire, well, throw estrogen on my kind of cancer, and it ignites. So I'm, I'm ridden it of my diet the very, very best I can. Um, uh, you know, it's, I still like a scoop of ice cream once in a while. God darn it. It's fun, you know. You get vanilla, bananas, and some chocolate. Real good chocolate, not the cheap stuff. And you sit down with your kids and your husband and boy, it goes down good.